In this video, I'm going to show you how to reset and repair your Roku remote in five easy steps. So the first thing you want to do is turn your remote over and we're going to be removing the batteries. Now, once you've removed the batteries from your remote, whether it be a Roku streaming stick or a Roku TV, I want you to unplug it from the power source for about 30 to 60 seconds and plug it back in. Now this is known as a power cycle and can fix a lot of issues. Now once you've done that, plug it back in and wait for the Roku home screen to pop up and then you want to put the batteries back into your remote so you can go ahead and do that now. Now once you've done that, this is going to depend this step. So this is known as an advanced remote. Some of these advanced remotes you use the home button and the back button and some of these advanced remotes will have a pairing button right beneath the batteries. So if you don't see a button here, no worries. If you do, you wanna press and hold that button until a green light flashes. Hold this button for like five to 10 seconds, and then you should get a notification saying that it's repaired to your device. Now, if you have this remote, which I have, no pairing button, you wanna press the home button and the back button for about five to 10 seconds, or just until you see a notification pop up on your screen saying that your remote is pairing to your device. Hopefully this video was helpful. Like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.